This is Brandon Lee with BetBrooms.com here with your 2012 Syracuse football predictions. Syracuse will look to bounce back from a disappointing season in 2011. While the Orange finished up at 5-7 and seven overall, they were just 1-7 and seven in Big East play. Syracuse opened the season 5-2, and two, which included a double overtime loss at home to Rutgers in a shocking 49-23 beating of number 11 West Virginia. It looked like they were well on their way to a second consecutive postseason appearance, but ended up losing their final five games of the regular season. Head coach Doug Marone will try and get the Orange back on track in 2012, but it won't be easy with just 12 starters back. Here's a closer look at what Syracuse will send to the field on both sides of the ball this season. If the Orange are going to dig themselves out of the bottom of the Big East, they are going to need a special season out of senior quarterback Ryan Nassib. As a junior, Nassib threw a school record 2,685 yards with an impressive 22 touchdowns to just 9 interceptions. There's no question he has the talent to lead this team to a winning season. But the big question is whether or not there's enough around him to make that happen. It won't be any easier for Nassib and company with the loss of starting running back Antoine Bailey, who rushed for a team-high 1,051 yards and 6 touchdowns. It's the second straight season the Orange will have to replace a 1,000-yard rusher. Syracuse is counting on sophomore Adonis Amin Moore to be the guy who takes over the ground attack. Amin Moore isn't your typical fast running back you see nowadays. At 244 pounds, Amin Moore is a downhill bruiser who is extremely hard to bring down once he gets past the first level of the defense. The big concern on the offense is what kind of production the Orange will get out of the receiving corps. They lose three of their top four from last year, including talented tight end Nick Provo. Things wouldn't have been so bad if leading wideout Alec Lemon hadn't injured his shoulder in the spring. It's unclear if he will be able to come back and play. If Lemon isn't able to return, there will be a ton of pressure on Marcus Scales and Jared West to step up and deliver. Both have a lot to prove. Sales was suspended for the entire season in 2010, and West struggled to stay on the coach's good side as a freshman. The Orange will have to replace the right side of their offensive line, but there is plenty to be excited about up front. Syracuse returns first-team All-Big East left tackle Justin Pugh and a couple of very talented interior linemen in center Mackie McPherson and guard Zach Chabane. With just five starters back from a defense that held opposing teams to just 19.3 points per game and 301 yards of total offense, it really wasn't a big surprise to see the Orange take a few steps back on the defensive side of the ball in 2011. While the run defense actually improved, the secondary was torched for 258 yards per game after only allowing 165 in 2010. There is reason to think this unit will get better with six of their top seven tacklers back, but they have to replace two of their best players in defensive end Chandler Jones and free safety Philip Thomas. Jones was a force to be reckoned with on the defensive side of the ball. Despite missing five games due to injury, he still finished with 38 tackles, four and a half sacks, and earned first team All Big East honors. Not only did the Orange lose Jones up front, but they also have to replace starting defensive end Michael Marinovich and backup defensive end Tory Ball. While it may seem like the Orange are in line for a drop off, they might not be in as bad a shape as you would think they have added in a couple of very highly touted junior college transfers. The strength of the defense lies at the three linebacker spots, as the Orange return all three starters from last year. While strong side linebacker Dan Vaughn led the group with 72 tackles, junior middle linebacker Marquis Spruill and sophomore weak side linebacker Dyshawn Davis are the two you have to watch out for. I have a hard time seeing the secondary getting a whole lot better with the loss of Thomas. Not only did Thomas lead the entire team with 82 tackles, but he had a team-best six interceptions. They also have to replace starting corner Kevin Scott. Opposing offenses will have to keep an eye on strong safety Shamarco Thomas, but overall this unit is not very impressive. Now for my Big East prediction, I have Syracuse picked to finish 7th in the conference. Marone has done an excellent job of getting his players to exceed expectations, but I have a hard time seeing the Orange making a lot of noise in the Big East in 2012. Normally, when a team that struggled returns a top-level quarterback, you expect to see them bounce back the following season. I just don't see that happening with huge question marks in the running game and out receiver. 
I also have my concerns with a defense that doesn't look like it will be a whole lot better with the loss of their two best players. On top of that, the Orange have just three home games in conference play, and two of those come against two of the top teams in the Big East in Pittsburgh and Louisville. With a non-conference schedule that features Northwestern, Minnesota, USC, and Missouri, this team is going to have to pull off some major upsets to even come close to a 500 season.